Technology is changing the way that people live after heart failure. Doctors can now implant devices into your body to help give your heart a jump start. KPTV's Kevin Quarry shows us how it works. What I was experiencing was uh, rapid heart um, beating. It uh, was causing me to go to the emergency room several times and also caused uh, a shorter breath, which is indicative of the uh, uh, heart failure itself. Ron Hansen suffers from a coronary artery disease that weakened his heart muscle. Basically, plaque built up inside his coronary arteries, which made them narrow and reduced blood flow to the heart muscle. Dr. Sean Harper at Southwest Washington Medical Center tried to fix the condition with bypass surgery and medication, but the electrical pattern of his heart continued to pose a problem. We therefore elected to go ahead and uh, proceed with an uh, implantable uh, defibrillator uh, and uh, biventricular pacemaker. Now this is all one device uh, that uh, goes in underneath the skin, uh, underneath the clavicle. The device has already been a lifesaver. In March of last year I had a pretty good episode where it did just exactly what it was supposed to do. Since the device has, has gone in, uh, he's clearly had an improvement in, in all of those uh, symptoms and we've actually been able to reduce uh, the number of uh, diuretic medications that he's had to take. And the procedure is relatively simple. I kind of fell asleep and then I kind of woke up and uh, no pain, no nothing. Uh, the installation went fine. Um, they put it in just under the skin, it's right here, and then they run three leads down through my chest uh, and connect them up to the heart so it monitors the heart in three places. Ron says there's no mistaking how well his defibrillator and pacemaker work. It makes adjustments, but when it's a serious situation has to do a correction, it zaps you. You can really feel it. Oh, it zaps the daylights out of you. Kevin Kawari, the 5 o'clock news. Wow, Ron Hansen just celebrated, by the way, 38 years of marriage. Dr. Harper says a weakened heart muscle moves a little bit like a washing machine with lots of back and forth movement. He says that a healthy heart muscle has a good coordinated squeeze to it, which is what that resynchronization therapy helps.